right, so we're back on Breaking Dawn. We're 13 minutes away from the hour of 8 o'clock. And right now we have Karen Bascom with us. And Karen um, is uh, here to talk about Tech for Agri 360, which is an accessible, immersive media service uh, made using agri journalism as a base, together with 360 degree video to create a unique learning and visual experience. And of course, agriculture is always. Um, something that I have an interest in because, you know, my mother come from that field um, of agriculture with Cardi. So, well, she's now retired, so, you know, but that's where she moved for many years. Anyway, I want to say good morning to Karen Bascom and welcome to Breaking Dawn and, of course, Finish TV. And what you see on the screen here was the Tech for Agri Expose. No, that was the Agri Expo hosted oh. by the Ministry of Agriculture. All right, so that was the Agri <laughs> yeah. Expo, yeah. and that was held by the Ministry of Agriculture. Yeah. It was and just our footage. And from all the videos that I saw, it seemed to be well attended. Yes, the expo itself was necessary because everyone is seeing, you know, we have a food crisis globally, and everyone is seeing what's happening yeah. with our food prices. So it. It also meant, you know, people needed something to do to go out. It was one of the first big events mm -hmm. when we started opening back up. So right. it was well attended and very much so a, su a success because of the people that work in the sector, all the small businesses, yeah. the ministry workers, everyone that is part of the sector or has been a part of the sector for some time now was a part of the event. And that is what made it a success. All right, lovely yeah. man. Um, you, you talk about the, 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 the food problem. Um, here, the man, one of the, one of the biggest problems for me right now, I can't get my favorite food, you know. <laughs> my favorite, I, you know, I can eat watermelon all day, every day. And it have no watermelon. <laughs> Everywhere you go, it have no watermelon. I understand the flooding. That, that was as a result of the flooding. Yeah, um, for any, some, yeah. any other things um, that, 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 that they're having problems with in the agricultural sector? Well, the main, main scare now or the problem is that Africans name problem. It's everywhere. And while, hmm. for, from my eyes, as a service provider and an entrepreneur, the sector itself has some structural problems. Yeah. It always feels as if it's in disarray. And then we have this digital transformation issue, which is a next kettle by itself, by where itself. we need to do things differently in order to service all. Mm. We have, there's unfortunately our mentality here where, you know, things just don't function. And people need to, I mean, we can't have that all the time I'm because of the situation. I'm just glad I said, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, because, I know. It just, it just, it just so, it's so refreshing <laughs> to know that boys, the funny is not the only No, it's not the only one. I've realized it's this. It's not the only one at all. At yeah, all, at all, at all. I, I, I personally do not stand for it yeah. because... It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, if it is here, you're supposed to, you are working at, let's say, at the ministry or mm -hmm. whatever government office, and you are the service provider, you are supposed to meet the citizens who are coming to be responsible. Yeah. We didn't come here to be extorted. We came to be responsible because everybody has a right to a livelihood. Somebody who is coming with documents and wanting to do the right thing is yeah. not a criminal. Correct. So why are you treating us like that? Yeah. So, yeah. Now, how, how, how is this with all of the, the, the problems in the agricultural sector right now? And we know that agriculture, over the years I've spoken on this on many occasions, the bottom of the barrel in the budget, um, not enough money invested into agriculture, into the agricultural sector. I always find that we, we, we should at least have, 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 have raised that allocation by that at least two to three billion a year, um, gradually, if, even if gradually. Mm. If you're saying one billion this year, it should at least be 1.5 billion next year, 2 billion the year after that, and we should, we, we should keep gradually increasing based on the productivity and the profitability of the sector. But I don't think the sector gets enough opportunity to mm -hmm. become profitable on a global market because of the lack of investment in the sector. So how does Tech for Agri 360 improve the agricultural sector? All right, so what we are doing with Tech for Agri 360 mm -hmm. is using 360 degree video as well as our agri journalism skills to create a unique learning visual environment. Okay. So this is a 360 video which allows you to see in any direction. And as you saw with the footage we took at the expo, you can also control where you look. So in that 360 environment, you would have to utilize a VR headset, which is what we have here. Okay. This is our final product. Oh, that's but, yeah, but yeah, we'll come back to it. Yeah. We'll come back to it. Sure you need footage. Yeah. What but I have yeah, on the counter here. Yeah. So this is our 
product here. It's a, it is our VR headset. It's sustainably made out of cardboard. Okay. And you pair that with your mobile device. So I have like a demo box here as well. All right. So this is so my paired phone, phone paired with the device. Mm -hmm. And when you place it, and it, that is when you place it to your face and immerse yourself in the environment. So you're able to look in any direction. Basically, you're able to go outside, inside. Because we are doing it and we started all of this in agriculture, we are literally presenting the sector in an entirely new light. So people can now understand the sector and how it works. What are the food production systems? How does the food get to my plate? What food is safe, what isn't? Because we are partnered at the global level, we have to make sure that our information is accurate and that we are doing journalism work but we are presenting it in the form of educational entertainment. We okay. start in education simply because we all see what are the problems being faced in our education sector right now mm -hmm. because of the pandemic, the economic problems, and now we have our climate reality is rearing its head more and okay. more where, you know, five minutes of rain and some road somewhere in the country it, it, is totally it's destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, that, we, exactly. <laughs> right. Needs to improve. Um, no, I mean, infrastructure-wise, we need to improve the infrastructure. Exactly. Um, to accommodate. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest problems farmers have been having is not no, no proper access to water. Mm -hmm. That's another issue. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I don't even know... <laughs> in, in 2023, how, or at least in 2022, which we just ended. In, in the year 2000, whenever, in 19, whenever, I can't understand why we're still having problems with water supply, especially, um, you know, when we're talking about farming, because it's, it's obvious that if you're doing farming, you need water for, for, mm -hmm. for it, water, you need water for anything to go. Yeah, exactly. All right? So, so yeah, it, there's, a, there's a degree of difficulty that people who in the agri agricultural sector face, we see that um, all of these problems that they encounter in the agricultural sector has also raised the price of the goods, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, I have seen some goods at some ridiculous prices right now, mm -hmm. and I mean, my jaw had a drop. <laughs> and I'm sure that a lot of people jaw has been dropping over the last couple months, mm -hmm. seeing some of the prices, but we understand that, I mean, I understand that they had to do what they have to do and they have to sell it at the price that they have to sell at because of some of the difficulties that they're facing. Yes, but And if know, we could deal with some of that, the price could go down. Well, that's the thing. That's where technology comes in. Um, they are, they are, that's why they had the investment expo in the mm -hmm. first place because they see the problems and they know they have to do something. Right. Instead of seeing the sector as what we needed, our source of food, and that everybody should have a right to that, it is seen as a money-making venture. Right. And in doing so, all of the investment takes place behind closed doors, it takes place at the high level between governments and private sector. But there's this catch where those people who lead and we all know, don't exactly know what they're doing all the time. Exactly, and they're not willing to take right. the advice from people you know. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if you're familiar with Alpha Senan. I am. Alpha brought, I remember years ago, Alpha brought a comic book called Agriman. Right. And, and he had this thing going on with the agricultural, um, right. in the agricultural sector. I think he's, well, he's still involved in that in a big way. Yes, but I no longer engage or work with Mr. Senan. No, no, I know, I know. But right. what I'm saying is, yeah. you have your approach. Right. He has his approach. Right. And the thing that separates you all from the people that govern the, the entire industry is that you all actually know what you're doing. You have a direction. You, this is the direction you're headed in. Mm -hmm. You know how to get there. Mm -hmm. But you need the investment. Right. 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 And that's where a lot of the times yeah, we did Alpha and Sutton and I would have done that. We'd work together to overcome that and get the investment together. Yeah. But unfortunately, he and I didn't share the same vision. Right. So, so different vision. He yeah. got the investment and I did. Yeah. So I moved on. Right. And so now we are saying, hey, we are on this stage where your technical know-how is most important. Right. And we have those digital skills. That's what the farmers, the producers, the people in the sector who have been around have those skills. And they are the ones who should be invested in to say, let's let them, the farmers, the producers, those who are familiar with protected agriculture or vertical farming or, you know, modern production techniques can really take on that mantle to 
help feed this country it, and maybe country. even feed the world because we can be a basket. Now, you know? now I, know, I know before we run out of time, um, mm. you want oh, yes, to, to, <laughs> to, 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 to kind of get a little, a little feel for this. Right. Um, let me see how quickly I can do that. So right. you're going to press play. So you have different videos <laughs> there, right? Yes. So all of so, these are educational videos. For now, yes. And then we move into entertainment in the long run. Okay. Uh, what would you like to see? Hydroponics or aqua? Not aqua. You put up one aquaponics or vertical farming. Take one that I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, I'll be properly educated with. All right. So we'll do the vertical. Oh, wrong video. <laughs> yeah. One second. Favorites. We'll so just test the demo here. Um, director, and then we we'll wrap up. Um, go on. We, we, we. All right. Yeah. So we have up here. I don't know if they could see that, right. but it is video that allows you to see in all directions like this. When you switch it to headset mode, headset mode, right? All right. I already have it in there. Okay. You place it to your face and right. you look in all directions. So turn on this spot, yeah. You can look. Yeah, I see there, boy. Yeah, you can look, yeah, you can look up, down as well, and then um. Well, we also have audio, we have other visual prompts as well. And we have this as a package for 220 where we are providing it. Basically, the price of a textbook where you access three months of a subscription. For that same 220 price, you get your headset, this headset here, and your subscription for three months. And then from there, we continue, we keep adding more videos, we make more videos, we produce things. And for sure, as a tech agree. So he <laughs> um, the, the, what's his name? Master Control has to watch the time. <laughs> Step up the time. Yeah, boy, I don't know yeah, what the time is. I really yeah, I can't see, see, see the every, screen. Yeah, no, no. Ooh, I no, can't no, see no, the screen, so I was like, oh wait, the time. Because no, we're going to run. We got people all behind me. Now we're going to be behind me. We're going to follow. Yeah, yeah. Right. My business. Yeah. No, but you're seeing right or wrong. All right. So that's the idea. That's you get man. to go outside, inside. So you're excited. Imagine how uh, these children, these children will be. Yeah, it's really it's a something. Great educational tool, man. Exactly. How do people, how do people get more information on this? So we are on social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. You could find us there on Tech for Agri. If you Google us, you will find us as well. And all our past work, because remember, we've been around for ten years. Okay. And at this stage, Tech for Agri is an independent, autonomous progressive entity that's our new tagline okay and we are just not going to be involved in any with persons who do not share the same human values as us as, as, like as, Mr. as okay yeah. please please remember like don't i we don't if if we don't work with any institution or any entity or any business unless thanks to karen bascom thanks to everybody that called in this morning tech for agree go <laughs> check it out yeah. we got to get this in every educational place that is possible. This is going to be a fun and educational product for children in terms of agriculture. Until